So the question was asked, how do I assign different materials to each of these faces? Like my, I simply select the faces and just drop the material on. It's a bit different in Max. I find it a lot more organized, although it's a little bit more of a hassle to get it to work. So I'm going to convert this to a poly. And I'm going to select the faces I want to be a certain material. So I need to scroll down here. If you do it in face mode, you'll see that there's a, a whole different set down here called Polygon Material IDs. Each of these faces have an ID assigned to them. By default, every, everything is set to 1. So let's say, for example, I want certain faces. Let's say uh, these or these right here are set to ID number 2. I go here, type number 2. Now those faces are set to number 2. This is set to number 1. I can go now to the different sets over here, for example, and set I want these IDs set to be number three. Now when you go to your material editor, the shortcut letter is num uh, is M. Press M, you'll see the shortcut for material editor pop up. I'm going to have to change my standard type right here to multi sub object. You'll find it right there, multi sub object. Okay. And discard the old material, just resets everything. I'm going to drop this material right onto the object. I can just click and drag and drop. Right now, none of these materials have anything. These ID numbers here correspond with the numbers we had typed early in here. I Meaning we only need a multi sub object that has three uh, materials on it. So I go to set number three. There we go. I can go inside here and give it a different shader for every single sub-object material. Um, I'll be using standard material for now, for all of them. Notice how these are not gray. That's because these have a different set of ID numbers. This is set number two, and these two are number three. This one's number one. I can change this color to anything I want. Say that's pink. I go here, number two standard again, now that becomes gray, I can change this to whatever material I want and I go up another material, standard the reason why I say this is more powerful is because you always know that this specific material controls this full object and not having to find out which one's which, you always know this is it um, and you can also type in the exact name you want this material to be so let's say for example I want this to be grass, this could be sky, and this is ground. And you'll just pretty much know which one's which. Also these numbers here correspond with the same numbers you see in UDK. So when you export this into UDK, the numbers we see here correspond with the exact same ones in UDK. So for example if you have an object that has 20 materials on it, you know exactly what order each and every one of them is and it won't get confusing. It's the initial start's a bit more annoying but afterwards it's far more useful a lot more powerful um, I think that'll be useful for you